I'm back with another video on my Barnes & Noble Nook Color that's rooted. Now in my past videos I've been demonstrating the functionality of CM7 on the Nook Color. Nothing has changed here. I'm still using CM7 but now I'm branching off to a different uh, version of it. It's more of an offshoot of CM7. Now I'll show you exactly what that is. Now in all my videos I always say go to the XDA forums and download whatever you need to do the entire setup to root your Nook to set it up with CM7, Honeycomb, Froyo, AutoNude, or whatever I've been saying on my last videos. Um, it, it's, everything is right here. However, I do admit this forum is very cluttered and kind of chaotic, so I'm just going to show you what thread to find the information of what I'm about to show you right now on my tablet tonight. And that is right here. This is a CM7 thread, but it's basically Honeycomb CM tablet. I'm sorry, Honeycomb CM tablet tweaks. So, if you go inside the thread, it explains a little bit more what it is. It says this is a work in progress of adding highly needed tablet options to CM7 before it gets stable. Once done, it'll be merged and this thread closed. Until then, you'll find updates here. Here's the important part. Most ideas are inspired directly from the, or taken from the functionality Google added to Honeycomb. Since the source for Honeycomb won't be released, they took the best of the ideas. So that's basically what this is. The entire file that you need is right here. The build for the Nook Color. They make this for all the different CM7s, like the different tablets here. Um, but this is the one you need. The bottom one's a mirror site, so it's the same file. It's about 80 um, 80 megabytes or so. If you're already using CM7, you don't have to wipe anything. You just flash this right on top. If you're using an overclock kernel, you flash that on top of this through clockwork, and you are good to go. So let's see exactly what these tablet tweaks are. I show you the tablet tweaks. If you keep going down on the thread, it actually lists everything that is going on. You see, this is a pretty big list here. If my camera would focus a little better, uh, I'm, I'm more showing you the length, not really the content, just so you know that there are a lot of changes to what's going on. And everything you need to know about this, this is a very informative first post in this thread. And again, the thread titled is um, CM7 Honeycomb, where are you? CM7 Honeycomb Tablet Tweaks. There you go. In fact, it was updated today. I'm not even using this update. I'm using an update from a couple days ago. So let's go look at that and see what it is. To my tablet, the first thing you notice is there's no bar up here. Now, if you know what Android 3.0 Honeycomb looks like, the bar is at the bottom. So you have a list of tablet tweaks, and for me, you can set the bar to the top or the bottom. It's at the bottom, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. And there it is. Um, now it's a lot more, in fact, it's very much in the style of Honeycomb right there. They've even, they've even changed the buttons. They used to be at the top up here. They're um, kind of awkward to grab up there. Now it's so much better right here. Uh, this one button, this pulls up the notification bar super fast. Our, your notifications will be up there. The clear button's usually right here. These buttons are now bigger. So this is the main uh, tweak with the, with the ROM that I'm using. Now let's go ahead and show you the different options. Now if you go in settings, everything that's changed, I just clicked on, let me show you, the Cyanogen mod settings right here. If you go in there, there's now a new option called Tablet Tweaks. You go in there, and this is everything you can do is now right here. First of all, I do have the bottom status bar. That's checked off. You saw that. Um, I have the soft buttons on the left down here instead of over here. Um, one thing I really like is you can disable the full screen uh, so that you always have access to these buttons. That's the biggest problem with the Nook Color I found is that there's only the home button since they don't have the menu in the back. I showed you in one other video that I had to remap the volume buttons but then you lose the volume buttons which kind of get, gets annoying on occasion. So what you can do is this. Let me show you a good example. And this is the last example before I close this video out. I'm going to open up a movie. Let's say I'm going to watch Star Wars. Yes, for some reason I always like to show that. I, I don't know why. 
See, so, yeah, I'm probably in the cantina. Hey, what do you know? I'm in the cantina. So, now, I disabled full screen, so this is, the, the notification bar is still here. Usually when you watch a movie, it's full screen. So there's some apps you don't want full screen, you want the notification bar. So that's very handy, so you don't have to uh, tweak the volume buttons or anything like that. Now, unfortunately, for a movie, you don't want that. So there is an option to hide it anytime. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? I'm going to tilt this. back. I, I just had something that came up, a little bug I noticed with this, but I now got it working. Um, basically, we're watching Star Wars, right, but we don't like that down there. It's kind of in the, in the way. So anytime there's full screen, that normally, this should not be here. Um, now, see, that just happened again. There was a fifth button right here, so let me go ahead and pull out of here. I'm going to hit gallery. I'm going to resume playing. There it is. So that button means you can hide the notification bar, and there it goes. So you're like, great, I can watch Star Wars without the notification bar in the way, but now how do I get back out of here? Or use the menu button. Now, this app, you don't need to get out or use the menu button, but let's say there is an app that does. You want to temporarily disable full screen? Well, you can set an unhide button. I have set this button as the unhide, so I hit it once. And there it is. The notification bar is back. Now there's the home button there. So I pretty much use that as home now. Don't really need this except to unhide. Although technically it still does work as home. You hit it one more time and we're back home. So there you go. This has completely, to me, changed the experience. CM7 is working perfectly, but ultimately it's kind of a large phone that has a little inconvenience because of the buttons, but otherwise CM7 is perfect. Well, these tablet tweaks, let me tell you, that makes a huge difference to the usability of the neck color. And outside of the hardware that, of course, you know, this is not a dual-core device or anything like that, so you're going to have to put up with that. But now, the software, this is almost perfect. So I strongly recommend that you try this. Now, if you don't want to try this, it sounds like in that thread on the XDA forums, they're going to merge this uh, tablet tweak menu up here. Let me pull that up again. Sounds like that might be an option coming in all CM7s in the future once there's a stable version released. Now as you saw tonight a release candidate was released so that's getting pretty close. Now one other note here in that tablet tweaks I told you about the disable full screen which is a pretty important part of what this does. This is where you choose the unhide button. You can have any of the buttons um, the Nook, of course, doesn't have menu back or search, but those G tablet other devices do. But in the Nook, you can use the home, volume up, volume down, or to um, unhide the notification bar. So that's very handy. And there's some other things you can remap the volume keys without going into the uh, the uh, text file on. Or that's how I remap the volume keys. I have to open up Root Explorer, unmount the drive, ch manually change the text, reboot. It's kind of a pain. Um, although I hear this is kind of buggy right now, but they're working on that. So that's going to be a simple fix for that as well. So there you go. This is CM7 with the honeycomb styled tablet tweaks. I hope you enjoyed that.